Okay, so obviously when the sun is clearly out, um, the clouds have disappeared, you get this lovely definition. And I'm just showing you this a little bit because you get this like a lattice work of shadow and patches of light on the lane formed by the uh, the branches of the tree behind me. There's an elder, an old elder tree behind me. Um, so there's not many leaves on it yet. So it's lovely kind of, almost like it's a, a rose window that's appeared. Oh, sorry about the dog. There's something, there's something invisible and not actually there that he's barking at. It's like a, a dog's existential moment. Uh, anyway, so again, that's the lane we're going to do. And you can see the, the, the lovely change between the flowers of the, the umbels, the passes where the light is full on them. And then when they're in the shadow, they get almost like a greeny gray on them. Um, so that's quite an interesting thing to change. So you can pick the flowers out. Let me see if I can just zoom in with the accompaniment of Cairn Gorm Terrier in the background. So you can see the, 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 the stark difference actually. And it's quite a nice painting device with the light on the flowers and how they disappear into the shadow of the See now the, the softening of the shadows again because the sun's gone behind the cloud. Who'd be a who'd be a film maker? Okay, there we are. Hi. Uh, okay, we're going to do a painting. This is uh, the lane up the road from where we live, about two hundred yards up the road, in uh, Coppet Hall near Wysons Bridge, near Saundersfoot, near Tanby, near well. Not near anywhere, really, in a lovely way. My name is Guy, and uh, I have no idea if any of this is going to work. It's the first time I've done a video, and uh, have you ever seen an old man trying to work out a phone with thumbs that seem to be borrowed from somebody else? You get the idea. So, anyway, this is uh, we're in the back garden, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do, or my way, let's emphasize that, my way of uh, starting a painting. So what we've got basically is a, a 6 inch by 6 inch, 15 by 15 centimeter square canvas. Uh, it's been primed two or three times using a chalk based gesso, standard really. Um, and then this is a uh, an earth pigment of mine that I make from... A nearby field and uh, suspended it with gesso again hence that kind of terracotta tint because of the white in it and it kind of warms up the canvas what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all of these sort of areas here first just to block in the body color to kind of push all of that darkness back to create a kind of sense of distance and it's crudely done with a just a, a splodging technique as I like to call it and basically we're going to just map in the main starting point so look you can see here we've got a kind of a darkness where the lane disappears on the corner so let's just put that in roughly like this uh, nice day today man we're going to get rained on at some stage or the dog's going to come out barking or the ravens are going to fly over and start barking at something a lot of raven activity the moment thrushes don't seem to like them very much but you know the nests okay so basically you can see what I'm doing I'm just blocking in a kind of a rough start so here we are here we go very crude uh, I tend to sort of call this the the ugly stage of painting really now if you're a watercolor artist you better have a tablet before you start doing this really just oh, block it in there like so and we're just having a look first how does it all what goes where so we've got this little bit about here um, I'm gonna now bring this back down behind all of this here I'm gonna kind of darken that a little bit and don't forget the way we're gonna paint this and the lane then comes through sort of roughly I don't know about here sort of just in there a bit I quite like to put the contours in early so it gives me an idea of what happens and then it's narrow there possibly a little kind of a kick 
and then out we come on this nice sort of asymmetrical cornering of that and I'm just going to again quite roughly block in this here uh, just sort of hint at a couple of grasses there so on and so forth I'm just sketching in paint all right and it really liberates you doing this by the way uh, a really good way of doing this if you um, have the fear before you paint is to uh, get yourself a cardboard box and paint on that if you can see that brilliantly executed maneuver with a brush there uh, and what that'll do is it'll take all the fear out of your painting because you can cut up as many cardboard boxes as you want and you can go to the shed and get some uh, get some dark paint industrial quality will do and all I'm going to do is just sort of put in there's a bit of a curve now we're not going to get this bang on yet which is my way of excusing myself for slightly dodgy curve there I'm just going to pop in a little line there that's nice and then come on the corner a bit and I'm going to kind of put in a few of these little shadows there's a bump I always like lanes with a little bump in the middle where the grass can grow and uh, and that's kind of where we start off the painting so we can see where everything lives okay Okay, um, we're going to basically carry on putting this uh, this bank in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Should we? Oh, are we still filming? I think we might have got away with that. Okay, um, so I'm just using this deep. Green here, which I used before, just to kind of block this in here, so it flattens out a little bit, comes off the lane a bit flatter there. Uh, let's come up here, and I'm going to just push that back a fraction with a little bit of the extra purple in there. Purple is a great colour with green. It's they kind of They kind of help each other out a bit. Some of my students say that I always say, if you're in doubt, use purple. I like to think I'm more subtle than that, but they're probably right. There are people with far more, far better advice in their repertoire, I think. Right, okay, so look, I'm just gonna put that in there like that. Now you notice again, Please, I emphasize this is the ugly stage of painting, all right? I'm gonna just put that in so we've got a kind of a denseness. Uh, we need to darken that. Can you see here, we've got a, this dark area, so we need to push that back, push that back so this area here comes, comes forward, okay? So I'm gonna do that now. Be careful when you're going in with um, oil paint, uh, black oil paint, ivory black, or this is ivory black, but lamp black. If I were you, I'd have a brush. Can you see this incredibly expensive, beautifully maintained paintbrush here? Um, this is my brush that I tend to use for black. I've got a couple, and I just put them aside and don't use them for anything else. So they sort of, they maintain their truth. That's rubbish. What they do, though, is they don't complicate uh, compromise, I think is the word I'm trying to, you sort of compromise your other paint. So look, I'm just bl blocking in pretty crudely again, a little bit of black here, coming up here to kind of, and I'm using a minute smidge of spirit just to loosen the paint so it's not too jam light and I'm just going to kind of put that back now it seems better here when the sun goes so you know it's clearer so I'm just scruffing and scuffing that in kind of being a little bit aware of a couple of trees here that need picking out just maybe that would come to about there just this I like that one there kind of 
just vaguely going to put them in. I'm still using my brush here, that my black brush. And don't be too precise. Don't try and make it all neat and tidy. That's got ivy on it, I suspect. It's, I think a lot of beech trees here, and there's a lot of ivy clambering up and probably annoying them. Uh, just again, because there's all kind of things happening here, blocking, getting in the way. So I'm almost going to, you know, connect everything together a little bit. And just here, just put a tiny amount in just to create another layer in there as well. Uh, there's a darkness coming up there, but then there's a little bit of light in there so I need to put that on top okay so you get I hope you get the kind of the gist of what's what's going on here again tiny tiny amount now some people say you know you must you like the impressionist guy you're a bit like them well I don't think they quite say that they say you must like the impressionist because you dab and splodge quite a bit and some impressionist scholars would Oh, Christ, man, you've got no idea what you're talking about. But they, the Impressionists, a lot of them were very down on using black. I think we're going again. Um, okay, so... Uh, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is probably the most boring video ever of a bloke splodging around and you'd be right um i'm going to put in some of the lines here sometimes just again a little bit of, i'm just going to put in some of these bits of now the bank's going to come down underneath the foliage so be aware of that and just block in this now notice how the ground again you can see the thinness slightly again a little bit of spirit in there now this is a king's blue pale touch of diaxine purple okay all i'm doing is i'm kind of making a shadowy purpley okay a little bit of burnt amber in there oh no that's too much burnt amber in there hang on Be good if i knew what i was doing darker here just a little bit again hint 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 of oh dear a hint of I was gonna say turpentine hint of hope haha <laughs> and it's a little bit of a kind of angle going in there like that and we're gonna connect the lane look it goes under and through those kind of grasses there and even come off a little bit. That doesn't matter too much. It's just connected all that. Come through there. Sun comes out and probably ruins the video. There we are, we'll live. A little bit of that there. And, oh, 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 oh. and then we'll, we'll faff. Gonna have to, and I look at the state of that. I'm just gonna re. Oh dear, get rid of that bit. You've got hurried away there, man. Eh? Just, 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 just. Smaller brush, just go in there. Get that back, get in there, get that back in there, get that back there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And connect that up, connect that up a bit. I'm going to come back to the diagonal in there, a little bit like that, a little bit like that. We got away with it? Crikey. Doing all right before that. Where's my where's my just use black brush a second? I I'm still got a tiny bit of spirit in this, but not much. I'm just gonna put that back in there. Keep it. I was say keep on sweating, I'll keep it on the and that's gonna connect. Just Just, okay, get rid of that. Oops, get rid of that. How are we doing? What's his name? Ross never had all this problem. But he didn't know exactly what he was doing. 
Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now this is lovely uh, tear vert again. Now tear vert, depends on the manufacturers, can be um, can be a lot greyer. I would say a lot more earthy than this really. Um, but it seems to suit our purposes. We're just going to, again, I'm going to start to weave in. Now I'm not using any turpentine. I've got my base in. Uh, so I'm not going to use too much turpentine. I'm going to start to put in my kind of mediums. Um, we've got a couple of trees to pick up here, so it wouldn't harm just to... Little bits in, around and through. And there is a danger, by the way. I've done the odd demo in art classes here. And there's a danger of bringing a photograph in. And putting it alongside your work as you're painting and it's a simple danger people expect some people expect you to make a facsimile with paint well you can see how i'm splodging and if this somehow created a facsimile then oh my lord it wasn't me who did it nothing wrong with that but it ain't me really okay so look just sort of now i'm holding the brush can you see right down the end if you've got a long handled brush use the handle don't you know try and be all kind of too precise here because you'll end up faffing a bit and come down the handle like that all the way down and it lightens up your okay so the, um, the stage we're at now is to well basically i would say we're sort of halfway-ish um i hope the light's not too strong now we've got um this section here to come in. Oh, hello, B. This section here um, coming down in a kind of a, a center here. Um, we've got some highlights through here to go in. Uh, we need to set up this lovely soft angle through here and then paler here. Okay, and we talked about these um, these umbels. When we're in the lane before see this is very very bright here and then that one's a tone down from there and we say a tone down basically it's a little bit darker i would suggest using some of the green here and maybe even some of these purples and blues mixed into white just to get that pushed pushed back sort of behind here into the shadow but i think the first thing i'm going to do in this little stage is maybe just put a couple of lines in just to kind of set this thing here so I'm going to look about here and maybe even widen this lane a little bit okay so um I've got my favorite little fine brush just for this bit and uh, I've mixed up a, a, a tint again a tint is anything that sort of starts with a white base um, and I'm using a little tiny bit of, um, of burnt sienna in there as well and all I'm going to really do is just kind of put a little bit in here over the bump in there and maybe just a touch here and maybe even paler and warmer using a touch of Naples yellow. Naples yellow is, oh, it's just, you know when you get a nice bit of butter? I always think of it as kind of a buttery yellow, warm, sunny, and it works very well against a bit of, now I'm gonna put a bit of that in there. So you've got almost a brighter one there. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, I like paint. And, Keep it, it, keep your lines, I'm going to sound very bossy now, keep your lines, for goodness sake, keep your, these bits thin, skinny, you're just hinting. If you go too wide, you're going to lift up the, the, the lane at an angle and it's, you're pushing it away from you. So just put a bit in here and there, a little bit wider and, and I'm just going to trickle bits and bobs here. so on and so forth and there's 
a little bit of a ruttedness to it. See how it... There we are. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I know I should... Come on, so on and so forth. Now, if you think you're faffing, either... Faffing... I don't know if it translates all that well. But anyway, faffing means fiddling too much. Fiddle faddling, I think. One of my lovely painters once said fiddle faddling. I think she's from Derbyshire. Anyway, sometimes you can hold a brush like a pencil and you work, you know, and sometimes lengthen. And then if you're fiddle faddling, faffing, potching around too much, go for a bigger brush. And I'm going to cool this down a little bit here and there. So I've got a touch of mauve which is a Dioxine purple. You can just use a, any kind of purple with a bit of white, really, or white, really, with a, white with a bit of purple. Um, and that's going to work as a cooler kind of a touch there. Not quite as sunny, so where the sun just fades away a bit. Not quite as bright. So like a half-light, almost, just. So it's not quite as... Keep that nice and level there. And it can be almost sort of weaves in amongst that there. Okay. Um, since the... Uh, since the adverts, while well, the adverts were on, I changed this here. Oops, a bit of a thing on there. I changed the angle. Can you see here it's got a curve kind of around here? So, what I've done is I've just taken that and I've moved up a little bit of black on top there. You can do that with oil, but you've got to be, don't sort of brush it, you've just got to put a splodge on and leave it. And then I'm going to just kind of build this in a little bit here, up and over. Uh, it's the distance. That you've got to be careful of between the lines okay so don't come down too much uh, right so um what should we do next well i think we need to come wider here so we're going to bring in a little bit we're just going to carry on um if anybody's still watching so and I'm, we need to darken this a little bit now i'm going to use here um this is a, um, a cobalt blue. Um, here, I'm just gonna just kind of connect up a little bit, darken it, and kind of weave in a little bit to the. It's a kind of a gravel track, really, and just you know, put a few bits. I like cobalt blue. I mean, I like all blues. I'm not. And there's not a blue I shy away from, I don't think. Um, let's get a little bit in here. And blue works well against, blues work well, I should say, against this kind of um, terracotta earth ground colour that we've got, that I've got here. It's quite a nice foil, and you can leave little bits, and it doesn't seem to jar. I'm trying to keep my angle of the lines a little bit, not sort of horizontal like that, but a little bit off. Can you see? Just to be consistent with the angle of the lights. Okay. Uh, just put a bit in here. Oh, I mean, you can do this forever, but just going to, you know, you get the idea. Probably more than I do. Anyway, okay. So sort of put that in there. Uh, and while we're doing that, I should really put in some of these greens. And I'm just going to experiment a little bit here because this is the, a bit sometimes goes out. Let's see, we're going to try and use connect up where the cobalt is. I'm going to put that tervet in. It's like a dull, cool green like that. Okay, wider here. And kind of just. I don't put the light bits in yet. It doesn't really matter, but I just tend not to. A little bit here and there. Just now that's Teva, and next to that, the other one I put in, that one there, 
slightly paler, is um, a um, chromium oxide of chromium, chrome green. I'm just going to kind of dot that in a bit here and kind of, you know, put one into the other. So they kind of dovetail a bit crudely where the verge is and the, and the track and the gravel and things like that. But, you know, it's okay. Yeah. I just heard an aeroplane. It's the opposite of the zeitgeist, really, isn't it? Most anachronism is going to fit in. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, a little bit of that pale coming through there and just, you know, connect up the pale bits. A bit pale there. Up there a bit. You know, a bit of sunshine. Uh, and here is important because the light's going to come over there. And kind of connect, you know. Again, just oh, don't overbrush it. Just put a bit on. It's quite sorry. Maybe oh. hmm. this is where I have the ability to think I'm just about, well, you know, quite happy with it, and then I drag defeat out the jaws of painted. What a load of rubbish, Manning, you speak. Hello again. I keep saying hello as if I've gone anywhere. I've not. It's just that the video keeps stopping on the phone. So, oh, good. So we're just kind of putting in connectors up there. So on and so forth. Now you see, I've gone against my advice. I've gone a bit high with that splodge there, so let's just kind of cover those bits a little bit and bring in again here just that touch of cobalt kind of like that. You know? I mean, we need a bit of a fine tune here, that's my excuse. Kettle on and all that, but we sort of, you know, got that kind of thing here. Okay. Um. Ah, then. What haven't we got here? We're kind of happy with bits and bobs, maybe. Be, there's a trickle of light that kind of I like it here. Just scruff something there a bit. Break up again. It's about kind of contrast and um, yeah, a little bit more here. And then kind of get a bit of light into there. Notice I'm not really painting with the brush. I'm kind of scruffing and scrubbing away. And um, I'm going to use, like, can you see, I've gone a little bit terracotta, a little bit of, like, a, a tint of burnt sienna. I'm just going to pop that in there. It's quite nice. Now, notice that tonally the tint of terracotta when it sits next to the tinted green it's not much brighter so it kind of I know, the Americans call it values but it's tonal values to us um, but it's as if the, the paleness is the same the tonal value is the same so if you reduced it down to grey tones on a it's now an old-fashioned kind of photocopy of just black and whites and greys it would be they would be the, the pinks and the greens would be practically identical. That's how I would see it. Okay, I'm just having a few little bits of there. Uh, I'll tell you what I want to do as well while I think on it. A little bit taller grasses there, they're quite pale. Is just take again, this, this is a cadmium. 
some little passes in here. Okay, and um, now I'm going to put in. I've, I've made a. Um, A color for these passes in shade and what I've done is that basically sorry I said about this uh, I put a, a pale a, a, a tint of um, ultramarine or Kings blue pale and a little bit of the um, tear vet and basically I'm just trying to match up these kind of cooler little bits of parsley and things in here so that Trying to leave a little bit of dark there, but not too much so it's too flat. Come a little bit into the light here. Just a bit. Gives us another little depth. Uh, and um, here and there, we're going to use... And I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit for the, for the one viewer who is still with us. I'm going to just put a little bit of this is a cadmium yellow pale cadmium. How are we doing there? I mean, how long do you want to keep going for before you just maybe a little bit more up here? Just a little bit more. I'm going to lighten it just a fraction. Um, yeah, just cut through there like that. A hint of more leaf coming through. And yet just a bit more. I want one tiny bit of really pale. Just where this, the sun picks up the edge. And I think we're, you know, we're not done done, but I'm, I think as a demo, that's okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just had another little look and I think, you know what, there's a couple of bits I could just maybe not put a little bit more sun in here. I'm using that small brush again. I'm holding the brush near the end, down this end, okay? I'm not going to be, you know, really drawing, drawing closely like that. I'm going to come up the handle a bit uh, and I'm just going to put these a little bit more, and I mean just... A little bit more of these pale colours in the sun here. And this again is a cadmium green pale with a touch of the lemon tinted with some titanium white to get the sun in a bit. Uh, and it's just, you know, not whole bits at all, just little wispy bits like that. Into the lane. And there we are, I'm just kind of here. help thinking I've underdone it a tiny bit around this kind of area here just so again just use not too much paint on just kind of the end and you're just kind of tickling it a bit
Maybe. Maybe. If you really want to be a little bit, or if I want to be a little bit faffy, I could just put a couple of those cooler parsley's in. There. Down the lane of it. Just in there. Which I do quite like, actually. I love these tall, elegant flowers. Um... Umbellifers, umbels, cow parsley, wild carrots. Um, I didn't know parsley and carrot were the same family, but apparently they are. And um, there's probably a hemlock or two in there as well, They're in the same family. Beautiful, but rather we used to have a small holding when I was a kid, and we used to go out and pick the hemlock, or hack the hemlock, I should say, get rid of it before the goats were let out. Me, and my brother, and our wellies with a sickle, looking like juvenile psychopaths, probably. All good fun. Oh, I am faffing a bit now, but there's just a little bit of light in there I like. Just on there. Notice pink works so well against the green. I say pink, it's again, it's this it's burnt sienna with, with white in it, but because of the redness in the burnt sienna, it picks out rather nicely. And it brings the sun into a tree. You know, just kind of. So there's a bit of sun on sun on here, just through the trees, just don't need much just to be in there. Now, one thing I must emphasize, <laughs> he says almost knocking the camera over, oh. is um I'm gonna I'm gonna put some pure black in just in a couple of places to kind of pick out the tree a tiny bit more. If you're going to use pure black, have a brush that is just, that you just use for black, okay? Like a designated driver for black. Because if you get anything else in it, in that brush, it gets a bit milky just gets a bit, it doesn't go black black, it doesn't do it. I mean it's, you know, it's your first world problem. Damn it, you know, my black's gone all thingy bow out there again, but I'm just going to put some of those trees back in a little bit there. Beautiful beach cops through there, lovely. Couple of small ash trees coming up. using the brush a little bit at the angle that some of those leaves might be so you're not overdoing it just kind of pushing the thing in there oh come on manning that's all right Don't... you know you're getting thingy when you're talking to yourself i think that's okay it's something a bit possibly a bit clumsy in there just a bit a bit too and then we can come in with a oops drop your brush come in with another brush if you want to and just i don't know oops, just sort of when do you stop when's it finished normal questions always apply when do you know when you've finished it's tempting to say when the kettle is boiled it's not true cooling that down a bit a little bit of a slaty green. If I was going to invent a paint, I'd invent something with a warmth. Take it out. Oh, and you know, 
don't know what we are missing. It's funny you look at something again. That warmth we put in around here you know, is lovely, so sort of full. Sort of could do it just, just where the light comes through there, goes up. Just, you know. And the world's not going to end if you don't. It's not going to end if you do. Maybe. Just. Right at the front, right as you got these blues, just. You know, the front there. Leave it alone, that'll do.